Hello, and welcome to my late-night post-ultra nightmare guide of how to beat the Holt. Here are my runes. Uh, you'll notice I don't use air control or the Chrono Strike rune just because I don't believe in crutches. I can't, of course. You can use whatever you want. This is what I use. Make sure you pop saving throw. And cutscene time. So, a few quick things about this boss fight. Uh, number one, mainly, Sammer is a bitch. Uh, yeah, first phase... First phase or two is deceptively easy. Only big thing you'll notice during the second phase is that possessed demons 100% have much higher resistances in this boss fight versus the rest of the game. For example, Hell Knight will take two rocket barrages to fully kill, but in the boss fight, he will take about three or four rockets before staggering. Three or four lock-on bursts. Yeah, you'll also notice this is very professional and unscripted. I'm going to ramble for about 17 minutes. It's going to be real fun. So, first phase is basically just introducing you to the concepts that Samur is going to test you on. So, his, his main projectile attack will slow you down. He'll teleport around the arena. It's, it's fine, whatever. Ballista, lock-on burst. If you're able to land the lock-on burst without him teleporting, bonus points. Don't let him teleport in front of you. He will knock you back. It's it's sort of like the whiplash attack. So here are the electrical eyes that I was talking about. The hitbox is a lot bigger than you would think at first. Uh, so right there I use the chain gun shield mod. The chain gun shield mod is going to be your friend because it can block all incoming damage. The biggest thing to worry about with the chain gun though is it won't stop you from being slowed by either Sammer's attacks or the blood angels that are going to be appearing later in the fight. Yes, blood angels are in this fight. Probably the reason you looked up our guy. <laughs> Did I mention this boss was hard? So, just just basically whittle away at him. If if you take any damage at all, go farm fodder. Because this, this fight can turn real nasty in just a couple of seconds, and every hit point is going to mean the difference. So, if you come across fodder, flame belch, chainsaw, instant. So, right there is his AoE attack. You get too close, um... Just keep your distance. Phase 1 is very easy. You should be fine. As I walk into the eyeball with a fucking smooth brain. So, at the end of Phase 1, he'll drop a bunch of ammo and health. You'll enter Phase 2. So, Phase 2 introduces the Soul Shield attack, which is Sammer hiding, well, to possess demons go do his bidding. These demons are ridiculously buffed compared to the others, so watch right here. That's two bursts. Two and a half. And he's still going. Ballista, Super Shotgun. Ballista. There we go, we finally staggered him. So, that is considerably sturdier than the other Hell Knights in the DLC. Just... Hide behind this pillar, don't let the Magnus see you, because check this out. Ah, uh, he doesn't do it here. He does it in a little bit, but basically, that Magnus will fuck you up. So, just keep staying on top of your health and armor. Glory kill, anything you gotta. Uh, definitely if you got the Savage Room. Chainsaw, stay on top of rockets, because they're the only thing in this entire game. Yeah, see right there? Almost 300 damage with one hit. So, rockets are pretty much the only thing that hasn't been absolutely nerfed into the ground when fighting spirits, so just dump rockets into pretty much anything. If you gotta use it, use the chain gun shield mod, just, you should use that to deal damage and get away. You don't want to stand your ground against these things, because they do not falter. So another thing you can do is try to use cover and dump frags into enemies. If you're gonna glory kill or chainsaw anything, flame belch, I can't stress that enough. So, right here is a good example of how to deal with that. And make sure you keep the Mancubus in your view at all times. You don't want that thing sneaking up on you. So, another thing that I'm going to do in a little bit is I'm going to stumble into one of these portals. Yeah, like that. Don't get turned around there. Definitely don't lose track of where you or the Mancubus is. And these these things, I swear, have an aimbot if you just suddenly appear on the map. Like, even if you fall off a pit in some of the other levels. I've had... I've had Cyber Mancubus kill me before I even know where I am after falling off of a level. It's it's something to always keep in mind, but if you're gonna fall off a level or lose track of where you are, shield mod, because it'll block damage. 
So just just keep your distance, dump dump any kind of explosive into him, specifically rockets. Ice bomb the Hell Knight once the spirit is out. The Hell Knight will actually thaw out of the ice bomb slower than he would if you just respawned him after killing him. So another good thing you can do is that at the end of this phase, just start meat hooking and sh super shotgunning Sammer. And that way you'll get about 10 armor pieces a hit. This works on the latest update. Who knows if Hugo will remove it. Um, once you're comfortable with where your armor is, go glory kill him to start the next phase. Which is probably the weirdest phase in any boss fight I've ever seen in a video game. So, you're, you're basically just going to be playing hopscotch on these four tiles with cacodemons. The... So you've got like these pylon things that will cause the floor to become electrified, just don't stand on it. The electric floor and those things will cause considerable damage to you. So this is where Dazed and Confused will come into play. The Caco Demons will take forever to unstagger, and you only have to survive one minute in this arena before the next phase starts. So obviously, the less Caco Demons you have spawning everywhere, the less issue you're going to have in the long run. Eventually, he's going to summon this laser security grid thing, which is pretty slow moving, but I still managed to get hit by it anyway, because I'm a smooth brain. Um, just bear in mind where the Caco Demons are. If you need to get armor, if you meat hook the Caco Demon, you'll get armor from that glory kill. Just keep that in mind. Just if you glory kill anything, it's going to spawn back in very quickly, and you don't want this fight getting chaotic. So after about a minute, you're going to go into the next phase which is probably the hardest phase in the entire fight. I wouldn't even try using the lock-on burst anymore because he's going to be moving around too erratically to deal damage. Ignore the health bar in the top. I am very tired. So, Chain Gun Shield is about to become your best friend in this phase. If you need anything, jump down to the bottom, kill fodder, head back up to the top. Chain Gun Shield, baby. This thing will block all incoming damage and will make the the Blood Angel significantly less frustrating. He just activated the, what is it, Judas Priest Electric Eyes? Yeah. So bear in mind where he is at all times. Obviously he's teleporting. It doesn't matter too much if you lose track of him. Just try to use your ears to locate him. Blood Angel is definitely going to be the biggest pressure unit in this fight, minus the Electric Eyes. They are a close second. They, they will whittle away your health very quickly. And if you lose track of the Laser Force Grid, or anything else in this fight, they'll make a deadly combination. Especially if Samur decides to knock you off one of these towers and into the eye. So just keep staying on top of these pillars. They'll, they actually kind of offer you a little bit of protection from the Blood Angel, because the Blood Angel can't get up here. That was a smooth brain play right there. Don't do that. So like I said, if you need any ammo, fodder, whatever, come down to the bottom. Otherwise, stay up in the air. So if you need to damage boost past one of those electric eyes or even the Blood Angel's AoE attack, pull out the, the shield. And just don't take unnecessary hits. And I should have chainsawed that demon, but whatever. Any, any damage you take during this fight will be a long time to undo. So you just need to basically just be good and not get hit. Um, so moving on. This this phase basically will take a very long time, especially if Samur decides to run and hide. Just bear in mind how much health you have, and chain gun shield if you even think you're going to be hit. Specifically, watch out for the Maker Angels. I'm going to call it the Marauder Green Flash sound effect, because that's what it is. Um, if Even if you can't find it, if you hear that, run and put up the shield, because apparently it can see you. Uh, another thing that I like to do is I just like to suicide charge Sammer because he is basically unable to hurt you with the shield out. Um, you can ignore the amount of damage I took. I am, like I said, smooth brain plays all around for me tonight. It was like 3.30 when I did this, but that Mega Sphere in the center, I should have died there. That Mega Sphere in the center is for you if you are taking too much damage. I would have preferred to save it for the next phase, but this phase is harder. And if, you, if you're gonna die, you're gonna die. Just pick it up. But just keep juggling. And I'm, I'm actually about to make another mistake here, which is thirsting the boss. Basically, you gotta just whittle away at him and accept that that's all you're gonna be able to do in the moment, and then s sooner or later the boss fight will end. 
you don't gotta absolutely thirst him like this and really, like, go for the kill. Um, so in a, in a couple more hits, or like a good couple cycles of hitting him, especially if he keeps hiding like this. And like I said, don't, don't do that because it's just asking for a Blood Angel to hit you in the ass of the spear. So I, I believe in one SSG hit or whatever, he's gonna move on to the next phase, which is probably one of the worst things I've ever seen. It is a Dread Knight, Pain Elemental, both possessed, with a Blood Angel running around the map. BFG is fucking useless in this fight. Well, so not exactly. What, it, what the BFG will do is the tendrils will not actually hurt any of these demons. What they'll do is they'll lock them down so that you can dump ammo into them. Don't, pretty much don't use anything except the rockets or micro-missiles or the chain gun shield mod. I, I personally would have just used the chain gun shield mod. So similar to the last spirit phase, Faster demon needs to go, because that thing can kill you in seconds. So don't directly challenge it in close quarters, don't run into a blood angel, kind of keep a nice little sort of coherent movement around the map. Another good thing that I like to do is dump ammo into the pain elemental every once in a while. So here is smooth brain play number one of this phase. I, I lost the spirit, and I locked onto a lost soul, so, um, yeah, great, I have to go kill another Dread Knight. Um, worth noting is in this phase, too, any heavy demon you kill that is possessed will be replaced by a standard version of that heavy. Works out in the favor of the Dread Knight, because you can just put a lock on burst, and watch out for that. So, Blood Angels like to telefrag you while you're glory killing or anything. Um, but yeah. You get the idea of how to glory kill them. Don't do that, because that was a smooth brain play. And whenever you use the portals, bear in mind there could be a demon waiting outside of them. So just don't run into things. Just keep whittling away at their health. Sort of like the last phase, except minus the... Obviously there are no electric guys. So, and another thing that's very important is don't waste both of your dashes at the same time, because if the Blood Angel walks into you, you have to be able to back up. So if you get stuck in a corner like that, just pull out the Chain Gun Shield. And did I see that right? Was I taking damage with the uh, Electric Floor? Alright, so yeah. I took a lot of damage there, would have been worse without the shield. So right about here, I've isolated the Dread Knight. Finish him off. Stay on top of ammo, health, whatever. And right about here, he's faltered. So, don't immediately thirst for the glory kill. Honestly, it would probably be better to just blow him away with something else, but I have savagery. So, you can kill him. And what I like to do for Pain Elemental is Lost Souls are instantly killed by Ice Grenade and Frag Grenade. So, you can spam those to stop the Lost Souls from harassing you. So once you've killed the first possessed demon, this phase is a little easier, but you gotta bear in mind that everything in this fight can basically still fuck you up in an instant like that. So just basically take the time to whittle away at the paid elemental, pray it doesn't block your path. And then it, if you want to, you could actually use the microwave beam to verify how much health is left, so you can kind of like predict when you're gonna stagger him and put him into a glory kill state. Or just shove the BFG in his mouth and then pop the spirit. Be very careful not to lose the spirit because it's going to be ball-crushingly frustrating if you have to go kill another possessed pain it's elemental over. or dread knight. My heart is not okay right now. I might die. It's cool. Fuck. Just. Fuck! It is not required that you end his life. Your mission here is now your own.
Anyway, that is the the final boss of the Holt. Um, yeah, kind of a controversial boss. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but that is widely considered to not exactly be fair, and I feel like the main issue of that is the invincible enemies in a boss arena. Fucking think about how paced that sounds. Um, I don't know, man. Like, making making certain weapons just selectively useless during this fight. Like, I, I dumped 50 rounds of the Unmaker into that one pain elemental at the last phase, and it did nothing. Like, and again, it, yes, the fight was hard, but it, it doesn't leave you feeling good that you beat it. It makes you feel like, oh, I got lucky because none of this bullshit actually killed me this time. There's actually a very common issue with possessed demons where they will become trapped on level geometry because they're moving too quickly or something. I can't tell. But go go find footage of this boss fight and you'll probably find footage of a Dread Knight stuck on a ledge somewhere. Or, um, I've gotten a Baron stuck on a pole in the Blood Swamps, stuff like that. But, and, and that's the issue, because you have a boss fight that you don't, you don't feel like you beat anything. You feel like you just got insanely lucky and somehow pulled through. And granted, that could be what they're going for, but that's, that's not necessarily a power fantasy that, you know, you're playing a Doom game for. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm going to bed because it's like 5.30 in the morning. Maybe, maybe I'll do another one of these and re-upload the whole thing when I'm more coherent and can actually speak in fluent sentences. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good night. This was done on a PlayStation 5, by the way. Oh, fuck. Nah, I, I'm probably will die after this. My heart was not doing good things. By the way, that is the first time I've ever beaten that level without dying. Hell yeah. I'm going to bed now. Good night. <laughs>